Hello, my name is Ed Bean. I'm with Biodex. This is Natalie Thompson, also with Biodex. We are going to show how to do a bilateral knee test on the Biodex System 4. The software is set up where what you want to do is across the top horizontal bar and the vertical bar shows a sequence of activities along the way. So typically you select a patient, then a protocol, set range of motion, then get your report. We're going to go in and select our patient. It's a new test. Next it's saying to pick a protocol. We're going to favorites, isokinetic, bilateral, knee extension flexion. We're going to do a two-speed test. We select that. And now up comes the range of motion screen. So our involved side is the left side, so the first side that we're going to test is the right side, which is the uninvolved. So we want to set new range limits. We'll clear them. We first set our toward, and we set our away. We set our anatomical reference point of 90 degrees, and now should we choose we will set gravity correction. And our green arrow signifies that we have um, everything set correctly. We'll press go. There'll be a period of trial reps, typically three reps. The last rep is typically at full force. And then you just sit back and rest and then you do your rest. Our protocol is going to be three reps at 90 degrees per second and then our second set is going to be 15 reps at 240 degrees per second. So we have our rest period, this will count down. Now we have our trial reps at 240. There we go, 15 reps. Okay, now we're getting a prompt that says to automatically set range of motion. This is a nice feature in which the range of motion that was established on the uninvolved side will now be used for the involved side. So we can get a nice comparison of how that involved limb is doing compared to the uninvolved limb. So I'm going to say yes. And now I'll move over to the other side. Range of motion is automatically being established now. So, if you notice on the screen there, during the range of motion, there's a T for towards and away. And then, see the arm is moving. When the patient can establish both endpoints, then I know the range of motion is good, and that they can, they can do it. 
So we're in the verify range of motion stage. So Natalie, go back, go all the way out to the towards and now up to away. Range of motion is okay. Go back down to your point there. And now as Natalie is there, I just hit calibrate position. We'll go out to limb weight again, or I can just continue. I can use the limb weight from the other side. What we'll do, we'll just hit continue. We'll use the same limb weight from the other side. And now we're all set. I'm gonna hit go. Three trial reps again. Fifteen reps. All our tests have been completed. We don't want to do any over again. And now we can go get a report. Our left side and our right side, this is our, our uh, extension. And, and this is the uninvolved and the involved is, is clearly shown on, on the screen here. Extension, flexion, extension, flexion at two different speeds. This little segment is going to show the software being used to do a exercise session. So on the involved limb, typically the patient would be in for rehab. So again, we have our patient, there's exercises along the top here. We're going to choose exercise. We're going to choose our patient. We're going to open our patient. This is a new exercise session. And same thing, if you, if you know how to do the test, you can do the exercise as well as vice versa. We go in, we pick a protocol. Isokinetic, this is going to be a unilateral, we're only doing one side. Knee extension flexion. We're going to do a, let's say a con-con exercise. Three sets, we select that. And again, we're back towards range of motion. We're going to be doing the left side. We're going to clear our limits. And we're going to set our toward. In our way. Now, range of motion may be limited, of course. I'm going to calibrate our position. And we have our green light. We're going to be doing three sets here. There are no trial reps in exercise. It was 10 reps each in those sets. All done. So the exercise is all done, and we can save this exercise because we do have available a, a report at the end that basically will show um, all exercise and all test data will show it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a nice summary report. So all done there. That's our exercise session. Okay, as typical, there would be a follow-up ex examination and so, or assessment. So what we're going to show here is how simple it is to bring up that previous test and just to repeat it. So again, we're doing a test. And in this case, since, since we're going to go to the patient and we're going to open it up, and we'll see that there's going to be a record of things there. Whatever we choose here and we repeat it, it will automatically do that. So we're going to do a bilateral test for the knee, and then we hit repeat, and it uses that same protocol, and it automatically goes right to the range of motion screen. And knowing that this test previously tested the right side first, it's all there, we can use our existing range of motion. So we're going to, we have our side is right. We're gonna use previous ROM, We'll automatically set that. So it's setting the range of motion up. And again, the verify. So we go out to the away position. Can you reach it? 
Okay, and come back down. So Natalie can reach that and calibrate our position at 90. And then we hit continue. We'll use the same limb weight and away you go. Okay, the side's complete. Now we'll do the auto ROM again. So we're going to say yes. Auto set ROM. Again, verify the range of motion. Hit that away, you hit the towards, range of motion is all good. Come back down, we're gonna calibrate a position, 90. And away you go. So now we're doing this side. Let me hit the go button. All done. And then we can go to our report, and now at this point we can also get a progress report if we wish. And we have our two sides that we can get, we can get a progress report, and we can see how we've improved or not. So there's still a little bit of a deficit in flexion there. Simple as that.